Hello and welcome to lecture four um, in engineering math two. So today we're going to talk about um, optimization problems. Right? So optimization problems are a type of math problems uh, where the objective is to find the minimum or the maximum value of some function. Uh, so here is an example. So find all points in the region x, y bigger than or equal than four, right? So this is the region um, above the, this, this hyperbola. For each such point, we can find its distance to the origin. And the question is to find, well, all points are the point um, which is closest to, to the origin, right? So in other words, we need to, to, to essentially to find the, the, this point. Well, um, strictly speaking, the, the, this is, uh, I guess it is. it should be symmetric. So the, there should be two answers, I guess, two, 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 and minus two, minus two. So something like this, right? But uh, my, 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 what I'm trying to say is that um, it boils down to identifying a certain function. So in this function is the distance from a point x, y to the origin, which is the square root of x squared plus y squared. And we need to find uh, the minimum value of the, the, this function, right? So, or here is another example, right? So, uh, so here, so we're give, given a temperature on uh, some, well, temperature on a hot plate uh, and whatever. So the, to find the hottest spot means that this temperature function, right? So we need to uh, to find its its maximum because th th this is what the word hottest means. Or um, here is yet another example. So what is the least surface area of a closed right circular cylinder? Um, all right, so it means that such a cylinder can be something like this. Or it probably can be like very tall and and uh, or it can be like very short and, and wide, right? So um, as as long as its volume is is fixed to to eighteen pi cubic centimeters, right? So by you know there are kind of different um, shapes of such a cylinder, and they have different surface area. So the, the question is among all of them to find the cylinder with the least uh, surface area, which means that the, the, the surface area is, is to be minimized, right? So in, in any case, uh, in an optimization problem, the objective is to find the minimum or the maximum value of some function. So here is yet another example. Uh, well, you, you, you can read the story, but uh, basically there is a magnetic field here, right? Given by this, um, well, strangely looking equation, but whatever. Um, and um, the, the, the story tells us that um, the magnetic field is the minimum, right? So which means that we need to find the minimum value of the, this function. Right, well, not the minimum value, but rather, so the question is where should we locate the radio telescope, which means that uh, here we're interested not in the minimum value per se, but in the point at which it is achieved, right? So uh, Now, optimization problems, um, uh, widely applicable in physics and engineering. Well, um, for instance, in computer engineering, um, they train artificial intelligence models by essentially solving a certain type of optimization problem. Uh, well, with a lot of variables, so with like probably billions of variables, but it boils down to, 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 to finding a point at which a certain function has its minimum. Now, um, but we've got to, to start with simple things and we are going to, to begin with um, defining the maximum and the minimum of a function of just two variables, right? So a function of two variables has a global maximum. So the word global here means that the, the um, value at, at that point at which it, it has the, the maximum, point AB, is the largest among everything that the function is defined on, right? So it means that the value at, at that point, f of a, b, is bigger than f of x, y at any other point x, y. Well, bigger than or equal. And uh, similarly, we defined a global minimum, right? So uh, now here is an example. So in, in this example, um, I can do this example sort of by applying just kind of common sense and a little bit of math. Uh, but in today's lecture, we are going to, to develop a procedure, like a systematic step-by-step -step procedure, 
uh, that that you can just apply and, and get the answer, right? So what I'm going to do now is just to, to kind of illustrate the, the concept. So, but it, it requires a little bit of um, kind of um, genuine ideas to to to, to proceed. Anyway, um, so the, the global maximum um, of the, the, this function x square plus two y square on the circle x square plus y square equal, equals one. So you, you see the plot here, um, maybe it will help if instead of the, this plot, you will, um, I, I have entered this into GeoGebra. So let, let me share it with you, right? So um, here is in, in GeoGebra, right? So I plotted the, the, the red thing uh, is the graph of the function uh, z equals x square plus two y square, right? So we are looking for a point on the, this graph with the largest and the smallest value of z, but not on the entire graph, but rather on the intersection since uh, x square and y square, well, the, the point x, y is restricted to be on the cylinder x square plus y square is, is one, right? So we are looking for the intersection of the, this graph with this cylinder and we, we want to find the kind of the highest point and the lowest point on the, this intersection. And you see that the intersection um, of the functions graph with the cylinder is, is well, has certain kind of a saddle shape. And you see that the largest kind of the, the maximum is here and, and the minimum is here. And you can probably, if you just rotate it a little bit, you, you can guess that the maximum is attained at points um, zero when x is zero and y is plus minus one, and the minimum is attained at points where um, x is one and y is is zero, right? So um, let me explain how we can derive it analytically, the, the same thing, right? Uh, now, so here is our function, and here is what is called a constraint. So the, 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 the condition uh, that, that we that is supposed to be set satisfied, right? So now let me just rewrite the uh, function as x square plus y square plus y square. Now, due to the constraint, x square plus y square is, is one, right? So the, the, this is one. So this is really one plus y square. Uh, and now it becomes kind of clear, right? So because, so, Clearly, y square is bigger than or equal than zero, because y can't be y square can't be negative, right? So it means that, um, well, the, the, this y square is on on the one hand is is bigger than or equal than zero, and on, on the other hand, well, look at the uh, the constraint again. So x square plus y square is is one. So clearly, y square cannot be more than one because you know imagine that y square is I don't know is two point five. In that case, x square will have to be negative 1.5, which is impossible. So x square has to be positive. So basically, the the largest value of y square is is one, and if y square is one, then x square is zero. But y square cannot be more than one, right? So the largest value of y square is is is, is, is just one. So y square is is less than or equal to one, right? So uh, which means that our f of x y is between well one plus zero and one plus one so it is, is between one and, and two right and it is clear at which point the maximum and the minimum value values are attained are attained right so uh, minimum um, so to attain the minimum y must be zero so the minimum is when x is plus minus one and y is zero and and to, to get the maximum, y square must be one. So y should be plus minus one, and in that case, x is zero, All right? So in, in this case, just, just because it is super simple, um, it is possible to kind of work, work it work it out with even without uh, you know um, powerful math theory. But today, you you will see how to to do it systematically. All right. Um, now, uh, the, there is a, a very important theorem. Um, I mean, when, when we are looking for a minimum or a maximum value of some, some, some function, so the very reasonable question is whether it even exists. Like the example with cylinders, you know, if you have, you know, a lot of cylinders with the same volume, um, is it true that, you know, 
some of, of these cylinders uh, has the smallest possible area. Or it is possible to construct cylinders with, you know, um, smaller and smaller surface areas. It is not really clear immediately, right? So, for example, if instead of uh, looking for cylinders with fixed volume and smaller surface area, so if you fix the volume of cylinder to be some 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 number like I don't know, eighteen pi, and you want the area to be um, maximized rather than minimized, then something like this, very flat and very um, well. A very kind of large and very flat cylinder is, is going to have a huge area because but a very small volume so its volume is, is small because its height is, is small but its um area is is large because you know it's it's just the, the top and bottom are, are very large and they already contribute to the area to the surface area right so what i'm trying, trying to say is that it's not even always clear that our optimization problem has a solution so, and uh, one possible condition is that if our function is continuous um, and on a closed and bounded set, then it does have a global maximum and, and a global minimum, right? So what is the disclosed set? So basically, roughly speaking, closed set. I mean, um, you, I recommend you to just Google the definition, right? So it is not going to be tested, the rigorous definition. But roughly speaking, closed set is uh, anything that is defined by equations and non-strict inequalities and as long as you have a strict inequality um, your set is not closed like for example uh, a disk where the boundary is not included is, is the open disk is something like x square plus y square is less than one right or i don't know so here we have x square plus y square is less than one and we kind of remove the this point and x y is not equal to zero one yeah so but by the way uh when, when we drop the disclosed and non not necessarily closed set so the the convention is that uh um, a dotted line means that these points that are on on the dotted line they are not in in the set right so maybe i i should i, I don't know like if you do it in, in Desmos calculator, I, I believe it, it is the convention with Desmos calculator too. Um, so if you uh, just, I don't know, try to, to plot something like x squared plus y square is, I don't know, 16. And then you will, will get a circle, right? So it is smaller than 16, you will get a whole disk, but the circle is going to be uh, dotted, meaning that points on the circle are not in, in the set. But if it's less than or equal, then it's kind of both. So, and then the line becomes solid, meaning that um, the, the, this is a closed closed set. All right, uh, so that was the global maximum and global minimum. So uh, a very similar notion is a local maximum or a local minimum. So, but the difference is that um, at a local maximum, uh, the value of our function is bigger than or equal than uh, f of x, y, where x and y are just nearby, right? So not necessarily true for all x, y. So the difference between global and local is uh, is clear here, right? So if you look at the, the, this picture, so there are two local maxima on the, this picture, right? And only one of them is the global maximum. So this is the global maximum. But the, the other uh, point, so the, this point is, is local, but not global. Right, so um, every global maximum is going to be a local maximum, but not vice versa. So a local maximum is not necessarily a global maximum. Okay, so this is the end of the first part. So please do this a little quiz for understanding. By the way, these quizzes are not graded. So it's just for your understanding.